There are two main types of breast cancer. The most common type, as your viewers may well know, is ductal. Ductal breast cancer in both the ducts of the breast. And another type is glandular breast cancer involving the glands. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the type of, it's a kind of relationship stress that are, you know, results in ductal breast cancer. Ductal breast cancer will show up after the woman has resolved her, her stress around the pattern of relationship. I helped a woman, I've helped a number of women actually, uh, but one woman that comes to mind is a woman who figured she'd be the last person to get breast cancer because she ate organic, she was spiritual, she meditated. She had a great relationship. She was well off. She was really healthy and happy in every aspect of her life. So, boom, breast cancer. It totally floored her. She was in total shock and panicked. And, you know, got in for surgery right off the bat. And then the next thought she had was to maybe go to Mexico or Germany for some special treatment. And then I met, she managed to connect with me through a mutual acquaintance. And I asked her for the story of what had been going on for the years prior to, to the breast cancer. And, you know, I knew it was ductal. So I knew she'd come through a pattern of stress and resolved it. That's why she felt so well and yet she got breast cancer. Oh, okay. So she had, her main stress was, well, first off, trying to make her marriage work. She loved the guy, but they were always fighting and they separated and came back together and separated. And finally, they were separated for quite some time. He, after a few years, came to her and asked for a divorce because he wanted to marry someone else. So then she knew it was over. And she adjusted to that and got on with her life. And then, a few months prior to the diagnosis of breast cancer, she meets a guy and has an amazing connection with him. And it was like her body mind got, oh, this is what a full on close relationship can be. Yeah. Where I can be vulnerable and I can share all of myself and I can have a fight, but connect again and be mm -hmm. totally in love, right? right? And that's what her body responded to. Uh -huh. And the, the tumor in that case is a tumor to resolve after a resolution of conflict. Now, what I want to be really clear about here is that in ductal breast cancer, the tumor is showing up after a resolution of conflict. And in fact, it should be celebrated as, oh my gosh, I have come through a significant conflict and now my body is repairing, right? Oh, so it's the body's not sick, it's repairing. Yeah, it, it's a tumor of repair. Just like if you fracture a long bone, like the femur, mm -hmm. the body doesn't just fill in the crack. It throws tons of bone across the fracture and all around in you. As you well know, you get a rather painful lump. It's called callus. Oh. And that's what doctors look for. Then they know there is a solid repair happening. And then over time, they don't worry about the lump because they know over three or four months, the, um, the bone will um, remodel to its normal outline, but with this dense band of bone, it'll never break. That's how good the body is at repair and how much it favors repair as well. So in the case of ductal breast cancer, it's a temporary tumor of repair and it'll go away on its own. Now, I know for the medical mindset that most of us have, that that is perhaps totally impossible not to at least take out the lump. Like what? You mean yeah. like, I don't have to do something about this? You have to realize the conflict that you're, you come through and bring it to your conscious awareness and resolve it fully consciously. Because if it remains 
your body's response, mm -hmm. then, then you don't get the full learning. You don't get the full healing. It's when you reflect on what have I come through? What is my body really seeing here? Then you get the full learning from the experience. It's, it's totally unlikely to ever happen again because you know that to hold a conflict of that level for a period of time will set you at risk again 